Welcome to today's top tech news. It looks like Singapore's property guru is suddenly doing really well. They just reported a Q4 2022 net profit of $820,000. That's actually a turnaround from a $3.9 million loss the previous year. The growth, it was primarily fueled by its strong performance in Singapore, countering extreme difficulties in the Vietnam market. A recent publication by an engineer in Alibaba's large language model team offers a glimpse into the fierce competition in China to rival OpenAI's LLM advancements. The description of the engineer's daily routine mirrors a really well-known account from an OpenAI researcher involving early starts, meetings, coding, training, the works. This really intense and rigorous schedule seriously highlights the determination of the Chinese companies to close the LLM development gap with the Silicon Valley. They seem to be catching up fast. Lots of Singapore in the news today. Singapore's Tonic Financial, which runs Tonic Digital Bank in the Philippines, just recently reduced its workforce as part of a strategy to once again increase revenue and reach profitability. So the exact number of layoffs has not been officially released, but a source has indicated that approximately 80 roles were cut from different departments. In other fun news, YouTube has a video making app known as YouTube Create, and it just rolled out to 13 more markets after its beta debut last fall. So now it's accessible in 21 countries in total. That's quite a few. The app provides features such as effects, music, and editing tools. It's also designed to assist creators in producing short videos for YouTube Shorts specifically or longer content, but it's just a lot more efficient than doing it on your own. It's basically positioned itself as a competitor to TikTok's creative capabilities. Let's see if it takes over. Do you remember Substack? There's still a lot of people out there who use it very aggressively and it just rolled out a direct messaging feature. So now you can have private conversations among amongst users on the platform. It's available on the app as well as on the website and it's akin to messaging systems found on social platforms such as Twitter. Is Substack becoming just another regular social network? And finally, Apple has discontinued its really ambitious project to create an electric autonomous vehicle known as the Project Titan. Which is really bad news because it means that it led to a lot of layoffs of team members involved in the initiative. How was it announced? In a 12-minute very brief meeting on Tuesday, conducted by Apple COO Jeff Williams and the project leader Kevin Lynch. The project has actually been ongoing since 2014 as a goal to compete against Tesla and it actually had around 5,000 employees at its height. And that's it for today's top tech news. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube and give us a follow here.